Hello, everyone. Uh, been in slow motion. Uh, first, I want to say I hope everyone is doing well. I pray that the, the Lord is taking care of you. Our Father in Heaven has His arms around you and whatever you're going through. You know, those are really trying times right now with the, the pandemic and then things that are going on. Our challenges sometimes can become huge. So huge that it consumes us. You know, um, I'm not real sure what you're going through in your life. Or what you're not going through or what you're dealing with. Um, I know one thing though, I'm going to tell you. If you have opened your heart and let the Lord in and, and accepted Him as your Lord and Savior, then your future is greater than your past. No need to worry. But you gotta believe. You got to believe. You can't just say amen. You can't just say thank you. You got to know it, accept it, know it in your heart. And own it. And thank him in advance for the things that he's doing that you don't see yet. Thank him. I mean, this is the time to hold on tight. To our dear Father in Heaven, you know. Our flesh is natural instinct. We, we react on it, we move, we do. I mean, what's the first thing you do when you get mad? You yell. Most people. Or you react, you know, whatever it may be. But stop and wait a minute. Don't think that God has ever forgotten you because He knows what you're going through. He knows exactly what you're going through. And have you thought that maybe he's just waiting for you to say, Lord, I need you now. I want, you know, he knows we need him. That's why he gave his only son. I mean, he knows that we need him. But when you want God in your heart and you want your life to change, and you want to make a difference, and you accept it and you own it, then guess what? It's done. I mean, I'm have we're having a couple, couple days over here, and uh, it's kind of like, <laughs> uh, um, it's kind of like to me, devil. That's all you got. I mean, that's all you're gonna do. You're gonna stop the moments. I mean, we got victory, people. We have victory. You know, my words are bring it on. I mean, what else can you do? I mean, you ain't taking my soul. You can have my flesh because you already had it. I mean, I've been sick and done had, done had the cancer. I mean, I, I mean, I'm going through my own physical problems now again with the digestive system, etc. But yeah, that, that's no big deal because it's all about what God's doing already. Working in me. And what he can do with you. And what he, how he's already working in you. And you might not realize it. Because you're going through so many obstacles. And so many challenges. And frustrations. That we fail to see what's right in front of us. That he's working on us. We are a work in progress. To the day we die. Well. Not all of us. Because some of us refuse. Why well, run from the Lord? <laughs> You can't run. Well, you can, but you can't hide. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be real. I mean, he's everywhere. When you're doing something under the, the down low, it ain't on the down low to God. Nothing's on the down low to God. <laughs> Nothing you do. The man, <laughs> you can scratch your head a hundred times. He sees it. You scratch your behind, and that's not offensive. He sees it. You can say something to somebody on the phone and be doing something else. He sees it. The whole point is not a darn thing you do, not even a touch that you do that he don't see no, it just, it is what it is. So when it's time to get real, Lord, here I am, man. I mean, you see what I, I mean, it's just really talk. The Father knows that you need him. But when are you going to accept that you need him? <laughs> and when are you going to stop saying everything's all right when it's not? When are you going to 
<laughs> Stop saying, I got this, and you don't. When are you going to stop saying, I got it under control, and you don't? The real question is, when are you going to stop doing that and say, God, here I am, fix the mess, and let go and let God? When? When is going to be the day that you say, huh, like my... I'll always remember that conversation, and you'll hear that name quite often. And Brother Joe said, I get tired of being tired. <laughs> How many times you sit there on your bed at night when it went alone or with your significant other and say, I'm really tired of just, I'm tired. And then I'm tired, but I'm tired of being tired. No. When are you really tired of being tired? Of acting like we got it like that and we don't. When is the time? That you let all your guards down. Because we didn't do it at a football game. We cheer everything. Cheer on God. He's got you. <laughs> That's kind of like I said, tell my husband. You know, I mean, my thoughts have always been. <sighs> fellowship is important. Remember this. Yes, supporting each other in times of need. Going to church. Giving God. Every day we should be easily giving him an hour or two hours of study or listening to Christian music to the to the for our soul. Reading the word, protecting ourselves, putting our armor on, getting ready for the battle of the day. I mean, and before you go to bed again. I know sometimes it's funny, but I walk around the house saying <laughs> I can feel the sense of uh, negativity or like something I I can feel that I don't know I just can sense sometimes that there's there's not good intentions around me and I'll say devil get away because I am God's and he is me he is mine and he's my father and, and I and I walk around the house saying that a lot but and then I'll say the Lord is my shepherd so go away devil go away you see but you got to believe it you get to know it, not here, so much is here. I mean, when you really feel it, you can smile. And huh, something I love this, this, my brother John, brother John said, how you doing? Oh, hanging in there. No, 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 we don't hang in there, people. What is the, what is it? When you've done all you can, when you've given it your all, Stand there. Just stand. We don't hang. Like he said. So just stand. Just stand. And let God do the rest. I gotta go. Y'all have a good night. But remember. He ain't forgot you. We forget him. Reach out and love him. <laughs>